Well, I just wanted to make a quick video showing off my uh, new limit switches here. And this is a little bracket that I 3D printed, and you can find that on Thingiverse. But uh, basically there's one switch over here, and there's one switch over here, and they're wired in parallel. And they're both wired up to gerbil shield, gerbil shield, I guess. And uh, if either one of them trips, it sets uh, the x-axis limit uh, pin to ground, and that triggers an alarm state in gerbil. gerbil. So let me just show you how that works. If we go over to gerbil here, um, what I have to do first is turn on hard stops. So that's uh, $16 equals true. And if we uh, display the config now, you'll see what that shows us here. So you can see that uh, 16 hard limits is set to true. So what that means is that if I go over to machine control here, and now, uh, and now I drive the x-axis into the limit switch, instead of kind of proceeding further and, and the belt kind of stripping and camming, it will just shut down and go into an alarm state. So here we go, I'm gonna drive it towards the edge. just like that it stopped and there was no crashing into it you can see there's still there's still an air gap I don't know if you can see but there's definitely an air gap there and if we go over to the gerbil display gerbil <laughs> we'll see that uh, gerbil is in an alarm state and requires us to reset it so um, having run into a hard stop uh, gerbil basically considers this a significant problem and it first of all requires me to reset uh, gerbil and then it requires me to unlock it before I can try to get out of my alarm state. So the way this works in in G-Code Center anyway is I can go up here to machine control and I could first set the soft reset um, but now it gives me this prompt that says X to unlock that's because right now we're locked because we're in this alarm condition so I'm gonna send the dollar uh, X command to unlock us and now it gives us this caution unlocked if I try to move the, the gantry right now, it's going to wig out on me because I'm still in an alarm condition. So what I first have to do is turn off 16. And now I'll be able to move back off the stop. And now I can re-enable 16. So that's it. I have uh, two switches and they both seem to be working fine. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit here, but I just wanted to show that off. All right.